Yo, what's up, Lunch Begins here? And I just wanted to let you all know that in this episode, I discuss things like internet connection and upload schedule and whatnot. I had recorded that intending to post it throughout the week. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. I had my internet upgraded, and so I was without internet for a little while, which is also why I didn't get an episode up yesterday. So I apologize for that. I just want to let you guys know that anything I say about internet in this episode has already been taken care of. So, yeah, enjoy the show. Yo, what's up, Lunch Begins here, and we are playing an episode of Shovel Knight by Yacht Club Games. So, we are going to go ahead and get started. I have, I don't, I, I, I think I've demoed Shovel Knight before, but I've never really played it. Wow, you can have a lot of profiles. That's, uh, that's interesting. Whoa, whoa, up to 20. Wow. Anyway, let's go ahead and play. Uh, this is neat because the game gives you three different campaigns to play. It's awesome, but I'm going to go ahead and play the classic Shovel Knight. Um, a friend gifted me this game for helping him build a computer, so it's awesome. Register your name, uh, of course... Legend... Done. So, enter body swap mode. Before you begin, would you like to swap the bodies of any characters in the main cast? Note you can perform this action at any time in the pause menu. What does that mean? Huh. Interesting, so it lets me, like, customize things, I guess. I can be, like, a girl, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna default. So, uh, that's kinda cool, I guess. Yes! Nice! So, I'm really excited, in case you don't know, but I don't know how you wouldn't know, a Shovel Knight is pretty much if you took a game from... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta voice this. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventures. Legendary. Of all the heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken. A grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. He's a loser. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power. The Enchantress and her order of no quarter. They have dimes. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. One might even say that a legend is about to begin. <laughs> Sharpen thy shovel. So in case you don't know, they designed this game pretty much after the... Um, just the idea of the old stu school style retro NES SNES kind of games. And it's really good. Look at that. I'm also playing on a 8-bit um, dough gamepad Bluetooth controller, except I'm not playing Bluetooth. But anyway... You guys need to check out the 8 bit controller. Not a sponsor, but they're super cool because it has all the buttons of an Xbox controller, but they fit into the form factor of a SNES controller. How cool is that? Where else are you going to find that in the world? Not in the... Not in the last... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not in Antarctica, you won't. Gotta, gotta not avoid people. Or, sorry, <laughs> whoa. Gotta not offend people is what I was trying to say. Just like those, uh... Those, um, scientists in, in, in Antarctica who are studying things. They might be offended, but there aren't enough of them for it to matter. So let's go ahead and go through this game. It's very well made. The thing is, this game has fantastic level design. I am super hyped because it's really good. Wait a second. Oh, nope, no secrets. So I know the general idea of this game. I'm not playing it blind or anything like I am Sonic Mania. Cough. I gotta continue that series. At some point, but... People like Toho better, so I'm doing Toho for right now. But yeah, so I get to play, and it has all the buttons of an Xbox controller. But it feels like a SNES controller, and it feels really cool. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The Knuckles meme, except the not, not the cancer one, the funny one. And... 
let's kill, get revenge for him hitting us. No crystals or anything, that's sad. Nope, no secrets. I think I die if I hit the spikes, so I better not. Maybe I don't, I don't know. The controls are wonderful. This game feels super tight. Everything is fantastic. And the key to this boss is just to do that. You just gotta have good precision. That was easy. Ah, sometimes I wish I had an easy button for this, so I could just be like, you know, I could hit it that two seconds I get to, you know. That, that one in every 50 opportunities I get to do something that's actually easy. Because you and I both know, most of the stuff I do is really difficult. I sit here and I play video games and people watch it. So, it's tough, it's hard, it's difficult. No need to question that. Okay, you see, this is this is good gameplay or game game design. You teach the player that, hey, this is something you can do. Because you have to do it. And go... Oh, no! Slimes! I missed it. I missed it. Oh, crud. I didn't know I would go straight through him. That's bad. But it's fine. Let's continue on. See, this game isn't quite as dialogue-heavy as Toho. So, I can focus more on making commentary on the gameplay, or I can talk to you about what's going on in life. Also, that's part of good game design, because it's like, as soon as you see that, oh man, you get to apply it in the field. So anyway, um, I have... I, I was on the phone with AT&T for an hour today. An hour. It was hard. It wasn't fun. But the person was nice. Um, no, this isn't an endorsement for AT&T or anything. I hate all ISPs. But, um, they did dis they we did reach an agreement, and they are going to up my internet speed tenfold. Which is great! I was on their, um... 18 gigabit plan, which ends up really, in, in reality, and ends up being more of a 12 at best, with 1 megabit upload speeds, which I could not live with, especially since I want to start streaming. So now I have 100 uh, meg... Wait, did I say gigabit before? I meant megabit. I'm sorry if I said gigabit. Um, now I have a, uh, 100 megabit speeds, and up to, I think, 20 down, somewhere between, I think, 13 and 20 down, which is fantastic, which means I can start streaming, and it's going to be fun. We're gonna play games, we've got chicken, and we're gonna have a really fun time with everyone. So I'm hyped. Hope you guys are hyped. Secrets! And so, yeah, I have a Twitch account. I don't know if I'm. So, what I'm gonna think of, I'm thinking about doing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stream on YouTube Gaming some of the time, but if I'm playing a game like Social, like VR Chat, where I really can't curate what's on it very well, or I guess at all, I'll go ahead and stream it on Twitch. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep my YouTube more of a. Um, more of a controlled environment where there's none of that randomness. I mean, there's randomness while playing a game and something might break, but none of that randomness as in, uh, oh, you might run into someone who's a total jerk, and then I gotta deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. I oh, no, Mr. Slime! That makes me sad. I was hoping to not die on the first level, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Mr. Slime better die. Mr. Slime better die. Cool. But yeah, so uh, I'm, that's what I'm thinking about doing. I'll curate YouTube while keeping Twitch, I guess, a wild, uh, wild, wild west or something. I'm guessing the official way is to go to the left, but I don't want to go that because I like secrets more than video games. At least the normal path in video games. So we're going to go for the secrets and grab the gems. I don't know, it's so much, it's so satisfying to get money in this game. I'm not sure why, but it is. Tight controls! Ugh, this game, it just feels so good to control. I love it. I lube it. It feels really, really fancy. A friend of mine will get that. The friend who gifted this to me will get that joke. It feels very fancy. And uh, it's old times, so you know they might have some cobble here and about. Anyway, en uh, enough inside jokes for today. I'm getting hit over and over. I better stop doing that. It's like the key to winning a. Oh, haha. <laughs> missed me. Missed me. Anyway, it's, it's just it's the key to winning video games. How do you win? You just don't lose. And yes, you can quote me on that. It should be obvious. Come on. Come on, gentlemen. Also, I should be able to get that treasure chest. That's also very good game design. You can see what you missed. Ah. Yeah, I don't know how you were supposed to get to that except for seeing it up there. So I guess that's the idea that you have to be able to see it after you go to the second floor there to get to it. Because I didn't see that little signifier that, hey, this, uh, this area is explodable. There are a ton of gems! And now uh, we can go up. Fantastic. 
Do we have full life? I guess we do. Neat. Oh, no. Oh, I almost got knocked into that again. That would have been bad. Can I ride one of those over there? Wasn't there, like, a secret area or something to the left? I guess there wasn't. That's a shame. I know you can fish after you get one of the upgrades. And hit. It feels good! So, let's go to the right! And not die. And I think this is the boss. No, it's not. I take that. Well, there is there is a kind of a boss. Same guy as last time. Hey, oh, no. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, man. Oh, man. Oh, man, I lost all my gems. Down the pit they go. That's sad. Where they'll stop? Nobody knows. Okay. Oh, oh, boy. Okay, we're good, we're good. Ah, tread carefully. Okay, cool. Oh, man, now there's precision platforming. What's that thing down there? Can I jump on that? Should I test that? Can I jump on that piece of, of foliage? Foliage? I'm gonna try it. We have our answer to that question. The answer is no. You can't jump on the foliage. Good to know, I guess. Nope. So let's go over here. There's another piece of foliage you can't jump on. I shouldn't have tried that. But you know, it's okay. We have to take it. We have to make or take risks. Get messy. Make mis. Or no, no, no. What was it? What was it? What's Miss Frizzle's thing from the Magic School Bus? Who remembers that show? Who's whose childhood was that show? Take chances. Make mistakes. Get messy. That was it. That was it. Oh, man. Oh man, Mr. Sk <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna spike out the audio. That was really funny. I really liked that. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna get you. <sighs> Every once in a while, we get to a point in our lives where it's just like, why are we even here <laughs> just to suffer? I don't know if you guys got that meme, but I like that one. It's fun. I almost started singing, you know, the, uh, all around me are familiar faces, born of places. But I don't know the song well enough. I just know the meme. Nope. Get wrecked. Get the apple. Let's go. Oh no! And you're dead. Can I get these and not die this time? I mean, the, the, the controls are tight. I should have not. I shouldn't have done that last time. Speaking of tight controls, you know what game doesn't have very tight controls? The original Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. Tis my opinion. But it's like, okay, so the original Super Mario Brothers, it's really floaty. Which is weird, because like, and it, well, I guess, I guess it's not, the, slidey would probably be the best word. It's very, it's a very slip and slidey kind of game. Which doesn't really match the core gameplay aspect of it very well. But it's still a fantastic game. Oh no. Go away, I wanna get my gems before they disappear. And I know I can go down there. I'm gonna hit this first. And let's go ahead and see if we can beat this first boss. I think it's Dark Knight. Before uh, running out of time for this episode. Maybe it's not Dark Knight, I don't know. Like I said, I've not, I've not played this. We're gonna get that secret. That's a no-brainer. Ha! Secrets for everyone involved. Secrets make my day oh so uh, so great. It makes everything super cool, super cool. I love to get secrets in my games. They are so cool. And I'm delaying the music really long. I'm trying to match it up, and so if you're wondering, that's not a not a recording issue with my sound. That's just me failing to sync with the song. So that's my my failure, and I'm gonna stop until I know the song better. You know, everyone. Ooh, chicken. I ever wanted them to put Shovel Knight in Smash. It would have been an interesting situation. Boss? 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 Black Knight. <clears throat> I need you to show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward. That hurts my throat. Dirt back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. <laughs> Stand aside, Black Knight! I have no quarrel with you! I must return to the Tower of Fate! But 
line is way as dolger senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and our invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal my shovel. <laughs> that hurt. Isn't his, his attack pattern, like, super easy? Come at me, Dark Knight. You also have a shovel, it seems. Nice! Uh, nice try laughing. Oh man, my first hit. You hit me once, you loser! Oh man. Good luck. Oh, so he does that if I don't hit him from a- oh, from a head, I guess. Or maybe it's because he lost half his health. Actually, I actually think that's more likely. I like doing that. So this guy's pattern is easy. Like, really easy. I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'm just good at video games. I know this really is my kind of era, though. The uh, 8 to 16-bit. Maybe 32-bit. I don't know, 64 is kind, of get, is, is kind of getting a little farther away from my era. But you know. You know. You know. 256? We don't even talk about the 256 era. But it looks like that's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you give this episode a like. If you join the comment, the comment section below. And subscribe to my channel for my content. And make sure you share this video on Goggle Plus. Except I, that's what I would say if we still had Google Plus. Sorry, force of habit. Um, and I gotta catch Shield Knight, I guess. And make sure you hit that little bell icon, which is what I've replaced the Google Plus thing with. Because that little bell icon allows you to be notified when I put up a new video. Because YouTube won't notify you when I put up a new video. Yeah. So I gotta hit left and right. And I shake out. Oh, actually, I gotta hit, hit jump. My bad. Well, yeah, let's put up fire, because you know what Smokey Bear says, only... I'm sorry, that achievement just popped up, and I know you guys saw it. But that was also referencing the same thing I was referencing, and I had no idea it was going to pop up. So I don't know whether to feel creeped out or excited, but only you can prevent forest fires. Oh, this map is so pretty. This is- this is, game is so good! It taps into the spirit of the 90s. Oh, it's so good! It's like Super Mario Bros. 3 up in here, but it looks better in terms of, the, you know, the main map. This game is so good, guys. It's really good. Platformers. I love platformers. I don't know. It's not hard, but that's part of the... It's fun. Thanks for watching me. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.